Welcome. My name is Billy Brandolini, also known as Chef Brando of Saya Kitchen and Bar in Newburyport, Massachusetts. Today we're going to make, be making gorgonzola stuffed and fried olives. What we have is gorgonzola dolce cheese imported from Italy. It is a blue vein creamy cheese. First what we want to do is put the gorgonzola dolce into the mixer, followed by the herbs. And we can get that mixing on a medium speed. What we're looking for is a creamy consistency, kind of like a whipped cream cheese. When it gets to that point, we're gonna add a little heavy cream to the mixture just to lighten it up. So we will be placed in the uh, piping bag and piped into the olives. Right about at this point, we wanna add a little of the heavy cream you want to do a little bit at a time just to make sure we don't add too much because we don't want it to be soupy. A little more. And that should do it. We're going to start stuffing our olives. What we did is took the gorgonzola dolce mixture and placed it into a disposable piping bag. Uh, these are available at you know the closest grocer to you. Um, you may have one in your house already. Okay, so what we want to do is grab the olives. You want to make sure that the hole on the top side is open so the stuffing will go right in. And we're just going to start inserting the tip of the bag, squeezing them just to the top, and stuffing the olives. This recipe makes about, be about 100 olives. I'm going to continue stuffing these olives and then we'll move on to breading and frying the olives. What we have here is a mix of smoked paprika, coriander, garlic, salt and pepper. What we want to do is take a little of that and just infuse it into the flour for a little extra flavor. Um, the smoked paprika is native to Spain as well as Portugal. It is an ingredient that we use frequently at say a kitchen and bar. Okay, so once that's evenly incorporated throughout the flour, we can start breading the olives. We have standard eggs, those are whisked, and we have breadcrumbs. You can buy these at the store, you could roast your own bread and make your own breadcrumbs if you'd like, whatever suits you. Moving on, you want to take about a half a dozen at a time, lightly coat them in the flour. You don't want clumps because it'll stick and then when they fry, there'll be clumps of flour. So very lightly, set about a half dozen at a time. Then we're going to move to the egg mixture, lightly coat them in the egg so the breadcrumbs will adhere to them. Okay, moving on, you're going to go right into the breadcrumbs. Now, you want the breadcrumbs to coat the whole olive and very evenly so there's no open spots. Therefore, the cheese, the cheese might come out of the olive when they're fried. So if it's covered all around, it'll stay nice and packed inside. We're now moving on to frying. We want to take it out, place the uh, olives right in the basket, and put them right into the oil. And they go down for about 30 seconds till they're golden brown again. You can remove them. They have a nice golden brown color. Want to move them right onto our wax paper over here. Just do a light seasoning of the Portuguese spice to add a little smoky flavor. And they're ready to serve.